A few days ago, we spoke with a wildfire survivor from Bly, Oregon, and we asked him, what is one of the most important necessities for the people in your community? His answer was, in short, an efficient and reliable power source for each household. So what we're trying to talk about and set up here is a basic solar system to get a refrigerator, freezer, small cabin running so that some families are able to do it. Um, you're going to need at least four to six batteries of the six volt uh, range. You know, I have these wired in series, so each six volt battery is wired into a 12 volt battery. Um, these are 232 amp hours a piece. The amp hours is a big thing to pay attention to because you can buy like some cheap Walmart, Biomart batteries that are only uh, 100 amp hours. So they're not going to get you as far as these do. Um, amp hours is big, that's about your battery, that's how you tell how much of a battery bank you have. Then you're going to need at least a small inverter to get the, um, to hook to those, which is going to be at least a 1500 watt that can peak to, I think it says it on here somewhere, it can peak to 3000 watts, it's really small right there. Um, but that's enough that I had, um, you know, like a small, I had like an LED light running, a deep freezer running, and you know, you could charge your cell phones and stuff. So it's not enough to like totally run a house or anything like that, but it's enough for these people to get by. This is the inverter that I had that uh, before it went toast that I was running everything on. Um, just to give you guys, you know, for, for, for comparisons. This is a 3,500 watt that will peak to 7,000. Now this is something you can actually run a full home on. Like, you know, run the whole cabin, have your air conditioner. You, you know, if you, well, I wouldn't run the air conditioner, but I mean like your, if you need to use your microwave for a couple minutes to toast something up or your toaster, or like I've actually run my crock pot and stuff when I had this one running. But another thing to really pay attention to, this is a power inverter, but something that I've learned over the time is the pure sine wave, sine wave inverters are actually a lot higher quality and you can use a lot more power and they have a lot longer lifespan as well. This is a 40 amp charge, M MPPT charge controller, and this is from Renogy and I have four 100 watt solar panels and that's what charges these during the day. Um, you're gonna want at least a 40 amp to 60 amp charge controller because they make small ones like 20 amp, but that's not enough to run hardly anything. Like you're just, you're wasting your time. If it's not at least a 40 amp or bigger, don't, don't even bother. And then at least 400 watts worth of solar panels that would be ideal to be able to charge the whole system. When you do the research on your batteries, you really want to pay attention to the batteries and the amp hours and everything like that, uh, th that's what you're going to be consuming. And then so, you need the amount to be able to charge them as well. So a good setup for people to survive, you would say something similar to this. If we could get a shed and something similar to this, that would be right enough now, to... Yes, right now with the way prices are, for a system comparable to this with six batteries, uh, we talked to 1200 with four batteries. Uh, 12 to 1500 would be with just four batteries if you, in this inverter, if we went with this style of inverter. Um, if we were trying to go with the six batteries like I have, you're going to bump up another 320 bucks. So you're easily going to be in the 15 to $1,800 range to get the extra batteries. So safe to say about 2000 bucks, somebody can get a really good system. Really good system. And then really if you went that with six batteries and an inverter like this, then you're running a cabin. They're you like actually running refrigerators, freezers, and that type of stuff. And then they can always add on because this is an expandable system. And a lot of these people, it took them years to get their systems. It took me years to get my systems going and everything. And I had two of them. But yeah. that was how, that's how I didn't have to hear the damn generator in the background going. You know, like now, because I like the silence. So it, when you have this, you don't have any of that noise. You get to ha hear the crickets. You get to hear the birds. You get if a deer comes walking, you actually hear them walking through your yard. When you got stupid generators like this going, you don't hear nothing. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, but this it's is where quiet. that's why up here people love their solar systems because it, it gives quiet. them their peace and quiet. And then they're not looking for power, or having to run to town every other day for gas. And then there's a lot of people like I mean. I'm fortunate enough that I had, a, you know, I work up north and I had another fifth wheel and, and tools and stuff like that, but I, this is my home still, you know, like I'm missing everything. Like I had, I had a lot of stuff here and a lot of other people had a lot of stuff and I mean, it's just really rough going through all this with everybody and like I went over here with Rich and Sydney and 
We loaded up his Kubota. All everything was melted, all the gauges, the seat was burnt, but it still ran. We were able to load it up. They just brought up like five hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff because they're moving up permanent. He just retired. Uh, he's been bringing pallet truckloads, and he brought a pallet, a couple pallet pulls of like thirty batteries for his solar system, brand new panels, everything, and it's all gone. And I went over there, and we were going through everything, and we're sifting through the ashes, and we're picking out his wife's jewelry and all the jewelry is is like nuggets of gold nuggets of silver it's all melted into the ingots there's nothing left and like i mean dude it's it's rough people don't even want to go through their stuff because it's that rough yeah.